Hi. Before you invest, you need a strategy to figure out what stock you're going to buy and when to sell them. At EPSMomentum.com, we did exactly that. We're showing you the proof and the numbers um, that this strategy works. So listen in the next few minutes. We'll go over the journal widget of EPSMomentum.com. So here we are, this is the journal widget that you can find on the second button on the list of tabs that you have here. That's the widget that we created to show you if the strategy works. So it goes back to the inception of and the creation of the strategy um, of EPSMomentum.com. So what we, we said to ourselves, how can we show that the strategy actually works? So we created this widget to um, have a bot or a computer that actually automatically buys and sell the stock over time. Um, day in, day out, it scans all 4,000 US stocks and comes up with um, buy or sell signal uh, depending on whether you have an open position or not. And also if the earning momentum is up and all those three uh, curves are um, positive, right? And I invite you to watch the other videos to see how the strategy works. But then you can see here um, that you know it generates a couple of trades over time. Um, so that that brings also us to the discussion of the second reason why we created that widget. Um, you will find, and you can ask many investors, that the most um, the biggest enemy of of you know you making money as an investor. It's not the market. It's not stocks, so it's not macro events or this, it's yourself. It's basically putting in, you know, yourself is, is you know, you're supposed to be a, a creator of uh, emotion. Um, so you have a lot of emotion, fear and greed. And um, this is what really hurt your performance. So to remove yourself from emotions, uh, it is the best thing to do is to actually rely on a computer to give you 80% of what you should do. Uh, so basically, or 90%. So it gives you a signal, a clear signal to buy or sell. And then you really have to do the research and then do the last 5%. But you have to remove yourself from this emotion. If the computer is telling you sell, well, maybe you should consider selling, right? It's not about, oh, I want more money or this. Just to remove the emotions from the trade. So that being said, let's go into the uh, the widget. Um, so the widget has three parts, um, three tabs on the top, strategy one, two, and three. Okay, this, the you can see there's uh, various tables here. Um, so first, the top summary here is the uh, current capital. So we initiate the first trade with $10,000. Every trade is initiated with $10,000. And the bot automatically buys the stock when EM is above uh, 20. And the green, yellow, and blue line are above zero. Right. And there are the sets of rules, which is um, after day three of a quarter, all the way to 15 days before the end of the quarter. Um, so the, the various rules and, and if a trade has been initiated in, in, and closed, it wouldn't trade for the next few days and so on. So I invite you to actually click on the start here uh, to listen to the entire strategy. But so what it does, it, it creates a trade and then um, on the strategy one, it places a stop at 7% below the, the buy price. So here it was 103.6 um, uh, on the 19th of June 2017 and it placed the trade at 7% uh, below that price. Okay, so, um, so the thing is this stop price is a trailing stop. So trailing stop is is good. It's good and bad. So it's good because it would move as the stock moves up. It will follow the move of the stock going up and following it by 7% all the time. Except when the stock goes down, then the stop actually doesn't move. So if the stock goes down more than 7% at any given point in time, uh, after several it's not 7% in a day, it's um, over several days, then you stop get hit and you get kicked out of the trade. Uh, 
So it is good because it protects your investment um, and makes you somewhat virtually um, uh, protect any profit that you're making. But it's actually bad because it also kicks you out of the trade every so often. Uh, and that's why you have so many of these trades. So some people would say, well, look, you have negative trades here, minus six, minus three, minus one, minus seven. Actually, this is very healthy. Actually, I'm surprised here to see some so many positive trades because most of the time you have a lot of negative trades, right? But because they're protected by a stop, you only lose a percent or two or three or four percent or seven and you get kicked out of the trade. But when you have a winning trade, you win 15%, 43%, 33%, and so on. So you win big on the positive ones, and you lose small many times, right? So overall, you make money. And we can see here that you know $10,000 is now $21,000. Uh, and that's not even compounding because it's putting 10000 every single time. Um, so here we can see that the trade is actually open. Uh, today so uh, I mean not today it was open uh, a few days ago and there's a stop level so you can see the stop level here and the distance to the current stop this tells you the number of days at which the trade has been in play for and and that's it so let's have a look at the other part here and the performance so you see the max win which is basically the best trade here the max loss which is the worst one um, and then you see the max PNL over the S&P and the uh, PNL over the S&P or SPY. So SPY is the ETF as a proxy. So here if we look at the chart, um, let me just remove, you can click on the legend and remove um, any curve you don't want here. But let's let's have a look at the strategy in yellow and in gray the S&P strategy one. So what it does, it, it does this. For every trade, everything starts at $10,000, right? And so at $10,000, the computer chooses between buying the stock or buying the S&P. So instead of choosing, it actually does both. It buys the stock, this, this one now, and it buys, it buys $10,000 of the stock and it buys $10,000 of the SPY at the same time. Okay, so as you can see, buying the stock was more lucrative than buying the SPY. The SPY actually ended up uh, a little bit above 10,000. This one, 11,000. Um, so more lucrative here. Uh, then there's another buy signal going up. Actually, the stock start going down. Uh, so catch up with the S&P. Um, and then it buys the stock again and the S&P as well. Um, closes here, but it's already at 15,000. Um, then it gets kicked out and then and so on right so the interesting thing is that first off the max distance between the S&P strategy which is buying an ETF and the stock is actually 51% so and I assume that I think that this is the point here where you would you would you would um, you would make 51% uh, over uh, the S&P um, and the PL over the S&P in total is 95%, which is at the end, should you have both the S&P at every single of these buy signal or should you have both this stock? So that is that is pretty, pretty amazing, right? Um, and that, that's what you can see here. Now you can say, all right, let's compare with the stock. So if I put the stock here, you can see the stock has rallied all the way with ups and downs, but it has rallied all the way. Um, so you would say to yourself, you know, why did we sell, we have this trailing stop that is really hampering and, you know, um, deteriorating our performance here. Well, that's why we created strategy number two. So what's inside strategy number two? Strategy number two, let's click on this and, and let's have a look at this, right? So uh, if we go back to strategy number one, we can see that, again, we, we lost some you know some performance because we did many trades because of the trailing stop so on strategy number two we remove the trailing stop and we just have a fixed stop so when you start you put a seven percent fixed stop below the the price you bought it at and on the 19th of um, June 2017 and that's it the stop stays to eternity right and as you can see the performance of the stock has been amazing 274 percent um, $37,000 out of 10,000 invested over three years, 
um, you about 252 percent above the S&P you know it looks looks really amazing so you know when everyone is buying the ETF well this is what more uh, you would have made there um, so the the good the good thing is um, the good thing is here you know it, it looks amazing because this the stock actually went up and up and up and and, and never down right so in this case um, maybe you make you make almost almost twice the money on the than on the strategy one but you know so that's interesting to see now strategy number three is a little bit different um, strategy number three is um, still based on the same buy signal okay but what happened is um, this stop is now based on EM so as the EM uh, decline so as you can see the EM went up 30 20 19 20 31 22 29 25 10 19 and 25 um, the stop is placed only if the EM drops below 20 and we can see it here so if it drops below 20 it places a stop right at that level 7% below that level right so um, and as you can see it has been hit around that time and it kicked us out of the trade right there and you know what it actually um, helped us not be invested in the stock when the stock went down that's actually good so it's telling you this it's telling you the EM is telling you that sales and earnings momentum were amazing right and at some point, there's, they slow down a little bit. That momentum slows down, and it could be some sort of a downturn. And you can see it in the EM. So as the EM um, becomes mine, you know, below 20, then it's a warning that's, that says, oh, hold on, momentum is down. Maybe we should put a stop to protect investment. And this is exactly what this strategy does, right? Um, and this strategy does protect your investment, and actually goes back again so EM 25 24 25 so the stock and the momentum resumes which is great it generates another buy signal and that's it and you actually do better than the stock you beat the stock right um, and you obviously beat the S&P by by miles here um, so you know free strategies that you can use um, depending on on where you are so or what you think at, um, about the stock the other thing is, you know, if I pull up another uh, another stock, for example, um, you know, you want to look at stocks that went up, great, but what about stocks that went up and down, right? So this is the case here where um, ABMD stock went up um, a lot and, um, you know, it went up a lot and then all of a sudden um, the growth starts to slow down right and the trailing stop got hit here okay we got another buy signal here but got hit and so on but your investment was protected but you did lose a little bit here because the stock now is losing even more so it's lost almost all of its value right so you it was right to kick you out and the, the thing works uh, so if you can look at the um, earning momentum here it went from uh, 26, 28, 19, 24, 19, 22, 32, 30, 22, and then it drops to 9. And see how the green, the timing, um, keeps you out of the stock, keeps you completely out of the stocks. It's almost always below zero. And that's what you want. And you want this indicator to really... Um, you know serve as a as a as an indicator um, that prevents you from going into stock uh, at any point and here all the EMs are below 20 meaning the momentum has definitely slowed down but let's have a look at the other strategy here uh, the fixed stop is actually not good at all because you're back to square one and even worse you actually lost seven you you stop at seven percent got kicked out so you could have made 190% more than the S&P, probably at this peak here, but you didn't sell, and now you're back to normal. So you, you basically even worse. Uh, you basically didn't make any money. On the adaptive stop, let's see if, if the investment was protected. As it turns to EM9 here, it actually kicks you out 
because the momentum is down and kicks you out of the stock and protects your investment. So you're 17,000 up. But see, where we can see is the trailing has been protecting you. And again, we see this pattern of a lot of small losses, but big wins when they happen. 51%, 53%. That's very important. Um, maybe I can take another example, um, maybe a different one here, where we have um, momentum and then becomes choppy. So here, uh, big momentum, we capture some of the growth, protects the downtown, the downturn, protects on the downturn here, the trailing stop. This is uh, oscillating a little bit and then collapses, but you've been protected, you made $17,000, right? Actually $7,000 out of, on top of the 10,000, so 71%. If you look at the fixed stop, it actually, um, got, you got kicked out at 7% and you did worse um, as well. Now let's look at the adaptive and here the adaptive detected the loss of momentum right there right and kept you out of the stock for for a long time here um, if you look at uh, the timing momentum it, it was negative but not always but the em was definitely um, uh, below 20 all the way here uh, so really protecting your investment so this is it for the journal um, so how do i find um, all the new trades so very simple every day you click on strategy one strategy two strategy three you click on this and then you have the result on the screener. So every day you have the new trades that are generated, um, the date, uh, you have the current um, earning of the trade. So TARA here is already yielding 8%. Um, you can see the performance, the overall performance. So $16,000, 13,000, 12,000, 9,000 and so on. Um, and you can also compare uh, the strategy one to strategy two, which one is more um, effective than, than another um, by, by clicking and, and displaying all those, um, those columns here. The other thing is you can click on best trades and that will bring you all the trades that have been done uh, over time on all three strategies, strategy one, two, and three. And, um, and, and you know, that's, that is truly uh, super super useful to uh for you to find all the good ones and the bad ones as well um so that's it i think um i hope it was um informative and um you know you can always message us if you have questions click on this button here um but um that's it for uh the journal and the uh, the overall strategy of apsmomentum.com um if you like this subscribe to the service thank you very much for your time